Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Oni Omura again, a content creator based in Joe City, Nigeria. So guys, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you nine tips, nine very important tips, that tips or things that you must put in place if you want to become a millionaire. You know, becoming a millionaire in a country such as Nigeria is not that easy considering the uh, economy, the recession here and there and all of that. It's not easy becoming a millionaire, especially becoming a millionaire legally, not the other way around. Now, if this topic sounds like something interesting to you, please ensure you speak back and watch this video to the very end because I'll be sharing with you things I've been doing, things I've, I've really talked to people, people that are doing well, and these are the tips they shared with me. I'm still a work in progress. I'm still working towards it. Of course, I am not where I want to be. I'm still working towards that and i feel like sharing this here on my channel because i've seen many many questions i've seen people sending me dms asking me what can they do to make money it's not easy in our, in our country but you can agree with me that people are still making it in a country such as nigeria people are still making money so watch this video to the very end if you're interested in topics like this the first thing on my list or the first thing you need to do when you're making efforts to become a millionaire is never despise the days of small beginning nothing good comes that easy you need to work and you should be willing to start small don't wait until you have a millionaire saved in your account before you can start a business start small start with that fifty thousand naira you have start with that hundred thousand naira you have all you need is consistency and becoming rich is just a matter of time Start with what you have at time. That is the first point I must tell you for sure. Never despise that small thing. Never look down on that small thing you have. Start with it. Here on my channel, I've made several videos on how um, different businesses that you can start with 50,000 naira, businesses you can start with 100,000 naira and still be successful. So, start with what you have at hand. Do not neglect it. Do not look down on it. Your 50,000 naira can turn out to be 1 million naira for you tomorrow or in the next month, in the next year. So start with it. Start with that little jar of oil, that small oil you think you have. Start with it and you're definitely going to make it in life. So the number two thing or the second thing you need to do is be innovative. Okay? Be innovative. Don't do business the way thousands of people out there are doing it. It might not work out the way you want it to work, but add something extra to your business. Add something extra to that thing you are doing. And I guarantee you, this will give you an edge in the market or amongst your competitors. And you will definitely go far in your business. Add something special. If it's in your packaging, add something special to it. If it's in the way you relate with your customers, with your clients, add something special to it this is something i'm doing personally now the way i relate with my customers the way i relate with my clients i try to be friendly with them have this relationship with them and so far so good i can see that something positive is coming out of, out of it before formally if you buy something from me or if you come to me for training i just train you and then i let you be i just move on but nowadays i've learned to have this relationship with my client, with my customer. If you come to me for training or if you come to me for any mentorship at all, I train you and I still come back to know how I, how far you're going, how far you're doing. That's something I'm doing. Okay, because I've gotten complaints from people telling me, no, they expected me to come and ask them this. And I'm learning. We are all learning. We are all work in progress. And it's, make, it's, it's making heads way for me because... I can tell you the number of referrals I'm getting just having this relationship with my customers or with my clients. Even in, the, in, in my store, the things I'm selling, just add something special. Add a bit of sauce. Up your game. That is just the main thing. Be innovative. Think of ways. Do your research on what you have to do to make your brand stand out. If it's in your packaging, you know, your, whatever you're selling, your pack, you have the special packaging, put something extra. If it's dropping a letter, just telling them, or just dropping a note, telling them, thank you for patronizing, or just write up something good, something they will, they will read and they'll be so, so happy they bought from you. 
be innovative is the end line just be innovative add something good add something extra so the third thing you must do if you're making effort to become a millionaire is cut down on your spending cut down on your spending like seriously spending excessively will not take you anywhere spending excessively will not make you a millionaire you need to cut down on your spending and limit your spending to those things that you know are needful those things that are essential you should know those things better i don't need to tell you my life is different from your life so you should know those things that are essential those things, those things that are needful and spend squarely on them cut down on excesses cut down on excesses if you know this thing you cannot afford it this thing you cannot do it let it go tomorrow you can afford it and you'll get it at the moment, you're still working towards becoming what you want to be. Cut down on your spending. Like proper money management will give you this confidence that yes, I can save at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? If you know how to manage money properly, if it means putting pen down to paper to... Like I've seen people do that thing and formerly I do laugh at them but I've come to realize that this is the best way. Like every, especially salary earners, okay, whenever their salary comes in, you see them with paper, you see them with pen, they'll be listing down things, the necessary thing they need to get. And sometimes you're looking at them and you're laughing at them. They are trying to manage their funds. They are trying to manage their money to avoid excess spending. Okay, and once they draw that thing that you're coming from, you're coming requesting for something that doesn't make sense to them, you, they are not giving it to you or you're not getting it because they've already calculated this is this, this is for this, this amount is going here, this is going. So, also, it applies to you, even in your business, cut down on your spending, do the needful, do the necessary thing you need to do and let others be. This is very, very important, okay, if you really want to become a millionaire cut down on your spending so the next point or the fourth point here is investment 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 this is this is the most important thing i think you should you need to do in order to become a millionaire you need to invest trust me money saved in the bank will definitely depreciate over time and will not make you rich but the money you invest will appreciate and make you rich as it, it will appreciate and you will see your returns and these will give you headway to becoming rich or to becoming a millionaire so you need to invest look out for tenable and reliable investments and invest in them this will be, bring you returns periodically but something i must tell you for sure is that please before you invest your money in anything at all do proper research ensure that it is worth it don't just because i said invest you just start investing your money here and there without researching this is for your own good do proper research because i've seen people that said okay they invested hundred thousand naira in this and at the end of the day it was scammed they were scammed yeah we have scammers in this country we have scammers here and there but please do your research do your research ask questions properly before you invest your money but one thing i must tell you for sure that investment investments will really blow you up yes it will bring you returns especially if you invest in the right things take for example you can invest your money in land i made a video i think the last video i made before this i talked about different things that you can do or the last two videos i made i talked about investing in land you can invest your money in land if you have money buy a land today it will definitely appreciate buy a land look for good locations and buy lands it will appreciate going to real estate your money will definitely appreciate so invest don't just talk don't just continue saving your money in the bank the banks are using your money to make to do their own business and get returns while yours is depreciating of course they'll continue to remove money for this send you a lot do this and your money is reducing so instead of leaving it there in the bank invest it invest that money and you are sure going to get returns if you invest properly so the next thing you need to do or the fifth thing you need to do in order to become a millionaire is spend less than you earn don't spend more than you earn this will take you nowhere instead spend less than you earn take for example your earn your earnings per day or 
your profit in anything you're doing your business or whatever is 2000 naira every day ensure that your spending is lesser is far less than that 2000 naira yeah so that you have extra to save because if you continue to spend more than you earn, you'll be running into losses here and there. But if you curtail, that is why I said earlier that you need to cut down on your spending. Cut down on excesses. Cut down on things that are not necessary. So that you'll be able to spend less than you earn and have extra to save. This is very, very important. This is very, very important. If you want to save, you want to become a billionaire, you want to invest your money in something that will yield you returns, you need to spend less than you earn. Even if you're just a salary earner, spend less than you earn. So the next thing you need to do in order to become a millionaire is make money every day. Like, make money every day. Don't let a day pass you by without you doing something that will bring you money legally okay don't let a day pass you by without you doing something that will bring you returns no matter how small it is okay no matter how small it is at least do something even if it's just 500 naira you're making per day do something do not stay idle every day do something that will bring you return. Even if you're not going to work, even if, it's, even if it's online, you have to do something online that will bring you money, no matter how small. Please do something. Guess what? This will give you the confidence to be able to save at the end of the day. If you're saving, like let's say every day, you're saving 500 or 1,000, depending on what you have, you're, spending like, you're saving like 1,000 every day. If you fail to make income in two days, of course, you wouldn't have money to save. But if you try as much as you can to make money every day, it would give you this confidence that, oh, I'm able to save this amount of money. If it's 10,000, 10, you are able to save every day, depending on what you're doing, depending on the returns that your business is making for you. Okay, so in essence, what I'm saying in this point is that ensure that you make money every day. That is why you need to invest. If you're investing in land, you're, you have cars, you're leasing out your cars to people that are driving. They are bringing you returns every day. Okay, this will take me to my next point, which is diversify. Well, you already know that in a country like Nigeria, it is not safe to have just one source of income. Having one source of income is not the best. You have to diversify. You need to do this, do this, do this, and do this. Gone are those days when you hear um, jack of all trade, master of none. Guys, if you're in Nigeria, you are jack of all trade and you are master in all. Like you are master in all. You're making money with all. So diversify your money. Diversify your resources. Don't just be stocked up in one place. If you are a salary earner, please, it is time you add business to that salary earning. It's time you look for something else to do. There are different things you can do. Just as I said earlier, you can start with as little as 20,000 naira, 50, 100, depending on what you have. So diversifying your funds or diversifying your resources really, really matters. This will bring you returns more. Imagine, for example, you have a physical store, you're selling in your physical store, you have, you're also selling online, and from the profit you're making, you're putting it into something else, you're into exportation, you're exporting food items, you're also, um, you're also, in, you're also a food vendor, you're selling food, okay, not just in the restaurant, maybe you don't even have a physical restaurant, but on weekends, people call you to make different meals for them, you're making money from business number one, making money from business number two, making money from four different businesses and you are a master in all these businesses because you're doing it to the best of your ability. Imagine if each business is giving you just 5,000 Naira every week. You can multiply 5,000 Naira multiplied by four. Five, 10, 15, 20, this will give you 20,000 Naira at the end of the week. 20,000 multiplied by 28 days in a month. 28 days times 20, you know how much you're making. So please and please, this is one thing. Even if you, you've not gotten any, any points here, please, this should stick in your head that do not concentrate on just one business. Please diversify.
go into other things, try other things. And even as you try these things, you need to be innovative. This is one of the points I mentioned earlier. You need to be innovative. You need to add that extra sauce to whatever thing at all you're doing and you are on your way to greatness. Trust me. So the next point of mine is set realistic goals. Guys, this is very, very important. If you want to become a millionaire, set realistic goals. If you know this is what you're making at the end of the week, maybe you want to be saving weekly and you know your earnings, your profit at the end of the week should be around, let's say, let me put it at just 20,000 naira. That is what you're making at the end of the week. Now, after your spending and everything, if what you'll be able to save is 5,000 naira, please leave it at 5,000 naira. Don't set goals that are not attainable. Set, set goals that you know you can you can do and they are feasible, they are attainable. You get what I'm saying? If it's just 5,000, I don't say because only said there are people that are saving up to 100K a week or 200K a week. And you want to push by all means to do that. You know, for yourself, for your personal self, that is not possible for you. So set goals that you know are possible for you based on what you have and based on what you're doing. Set these goals and then be consistent. I've mentioned being consistent here. Very, very important. Be consistent with what you are doing. And you're definitely going to reach your goal. So the final point is make a plan and follow it. Make a plan and follow it. There is a saying that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It is realistic. If you fail to plan, you are definitely planning to fail. Because if you don't plan well, you will end up, you will end up, let me say you will end up frustrated or you'll be tired of the whole thing. But if you plan that, okay, this, my business is giving me 10,000 naira every month and I'm saving 5,000, it's giving me 10,000 naira every week and I'm able to save 5,000 naira. At the end of two months, I should be able to invest in this other business. It is feasible because it's an attainable goal because I have planned it. I will continue working towards it. So it is very, very important to plan. Not just planning in your head, okay? You might forget. If it means put it in, putting it down to paper, please set your plan. Plan your life. Plan your week. Plan your month. If you know I'm making so, so amount of money and in, three, in the next three months, I want to invest in this business. I want to start another business to support the one I'm doing. Plan it. Plan it ahead of time. Planning is ultimate planning is very very important if you have people that are doing well in their business go and ask them how they started they will tell you they did not start from the blues they did not start from the moon they started with little little planning and then pushing and consistency and they are where they are today i heard the story okay let me not put that here okay let me just ensure you plan Plan anything at all you're doing and on, you are on your way to greatness. You are on your way to success. You are on your way to becoming a millionaire. We are all work in progress. I am still work in progress. I'm using this. These are the things I'm doing practically. Okay. And I know if you put this in place, you're going to reach your greatness. You're going to reach that great high, which you dream to reach. So thank you for watching this video to this point. I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.